welcome to day four of your fossil advent calendar. So in today's video we're going to be talking about trilobites. So some of you may have heard of them before but they are an extinct group of arthropods and they looked a little bit like this. So I do have a very small model of a trilobite but it still is useful for you guys to visualize. So this is what they would have looked like. And these existed in the Cambrian period, so about 500 million years ago. And they actually went extinct in the Permian period, which was about 250 million years ago. So um, one of the key things about trilobites is they had an exoskeleton that kind of protected all their soft parts. So it's the exoskeleton that you can find fossilized today. So it needs quite rapid preservation to preserve because it is very fragile, but you can find trilobites in a range of sizes and a range of parts. So they didn't always stay as one piece. But um, if we look at this little guy here, you'll see they have lots of legs. So these legs you can see are on each segment, there is a pair of them, and they would have helped with the trilobite's locomotion. So if they were on the sea floor, they might have used the legs to walk or even to burrow, and we can find trace fossils of trilobites. So trace fossils are not an actual organism, but they're what they leave behind. So footprints, burrows, coprolites, also known as poo. Um, so it's very interesting to kind of piece all the evidence together to try and get an idea of how these creatures live. I'm afraid I've just got this little model, but I do have some small trilobite pieces to show you guys under the microscope. So let's hop over to the lab and we can take a look. So here we have the two slides of specimens. So I think we'll just look at one of them because they're both very similar. So these are juvenile trilobites. So they're really, really tiny and uh, need the use of a microscope to actually be able to see any detail on them. So this is me attempting to set up the microscope ready for you guys to actually see the specimen. So it takes a little bit of preparation to get the light right and actually get the specimens in focus. But that's kind of part of the fun, I think, of doing micropaleontology. It's um, getting the specimen to a point of being able to be analyzed. So this is me playing around with the light so you guys can actually see it. But if you have too much light, it's actually not very useful. So you have to get that kind of perfect level of light. So I thought I'd include this just so you guys can get a view of what I go through to actually get the specimens ready. And I think we're nearly there. So we've got the thumbs up, so we're ready. So I feel like in this point I should just do the the, the Jaws theme tune of da -dun, da -dun, da -da 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 just when I look down the microscope. For some reason I feel like it fits. But here we have the four beautiful trilobite specimens. So I think they look really stunning under microscope and you can really see their structure a bit better. So um, I thought I would share with you guys. So apologies I don't have any of the larger specimens, but um, you've got to work with what you've got. So I thought I would share these nonetheless. And hopefully in future videos we'll see larger ones. Touch wood. <laughs> So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I'll link my social media down below if you'd like to check out some more fossil content on my Instagram and Twitter. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.